Destination declutterers, sorry, brass straps. Um, so hey, welcome to your Monday motivation. Do I look very much like I did on the Friday motivation? Yeah, well, that's because I'm gonna be traveling this week, so I thought I would just make sure I had this to give to you. So here is part two of how thinking about your garden, or like if that's your thing, your garden is like your life and decluttering and stuff like that there. Uh, I'm not gonna re-record this, that's gonna be my title, it's kind of awkward, but here's what I think about that. As I was in my own garden and pulling up the weeds and getting rid of the leaves and things like that, I realized that so much of my garden reflects my life because I realize I'm not a big gardener. I don't, I enjoy being outside, um, but I don't necessarily enjoy cleaning out a garden or even planting stuff. Um, I did at one point and then I don't, and, I, and now I don't, and that's okay. The takeaway there is you can like something at one point in your life and then not like to do it anymore, and that's totally okay. We evolve and we change. Now, because I am not a big gardener and weeder, I have purposely designed my garden, much like designing my life, to minimize the amount of time doing the things that I don't want to do. So what do I mean? I mean that literally my garden outside in the front of the house has got like yucca plants in it. It's got two things. It's got daylilies somewhere and then yucca plants. Anything else that isn't a daylily or a yucca plant gets pulled out and that empty space gets covered with mulch. And once that's done, I'm done with it. And I spend my free time doing something else. Um, I decided that this, I like how that looks. It's right for what I want to do. And I don't care, frankly, if everybody else around me has got these detailed little um, uh, like English gardens with all sorts of annuals and things like that. Like don't, I love those. I love looking at them, but do I want to spend the time doing that in my own in my own yard? No, I want to spend my time doing something else. That's okay. I also have friends who freaking love gardening, who do it as their happy place, and they spend hours enjoyably planting um, flowers and vegetables and all sorts of things and finding seeds and doing stuff. That is also awesome. They love doing that. I'm not going to convince them to have a garden like mine because their gardening is their happy place. They wisely know not to convince me how fun it is to plant all this stuff and water it and keep it up because they know that's not where I'm going to go. So I say this to you to think about your home and your amount of stuff and what you keep, how you decorate, should bring you joy, should be not keeping up with the Joneses, not trying to be like somebody else, but design your, your clutter or lack thereof, your stuff, your home, to reflect exactly who you are. And I will say this, how much time, design it to reflect how much time you want to spend tidying up and dusting and rearranging and stuff like that. Because the fewer items you have, the easier it is to stay clutter-free. Because you don't have things to put back in their places. You don't have things to dust. Um, so the fewer things, the fewer plants you have to take care of the f outside, think about that with all the things that you have that you need to take care of. Everything you have in your life requires some sort of care. Now, I love my... Um, 110 snow domes, as many of you have heard. But yeah, when I go to dust them, they are a big commitment. So I realized that, but I still kept them. There were many other tchotchkes and stuff that I realized that I was like, you know what? I want to spend my time outside playing. I don't want to be in here dusting this stuff. Uh, so I just say that to you to think about designing your life and your, well, designing your home and the stuff you have in it to reflect how you want to spend your time and also think of it as a garden that you're planting whatever you plant you're going to need to take care of so the fewer things you plant and the more you know self-sufficient they are you the less you'll have to really take care of them so that's what i got this is what i get inspired in the garden so maybe it was good that i went out there um i hope this helps the fewer things you have the easier it is to stay decluttered
So there. Again, kind of like from Friday, tell me where this doesn't work for you. Tell me where I got it wrong, how this works for me, but you're like, oh, that, but that works for you, but no, nah, it wouldn't work for me. Tell me where this would not work for you, okay? Um, I'd love to hear it because um, I want to help you and I can help you when you're stuck and saying that things wouldn't work for you. We can work on it together. So uh, send me an email, put it in the comments. Let me know how I'm wrong, okay? I will see you next Monday.